Hi, this is Walford Kaufman bringing you another devotion. The scripture I have for you today is from Proverbs 12, verse 10. A righteous man cares for the needs of his animal, but the kindest acts of the wicked are cruel. And this is a scripture that a lot of these programs or projects or, or groups that rescue animals, this is a scripture they use. And that's a good one. A righteous man cares for the needs of his animal. And we need to take care of animals. They are a part of God's creation. He put them on this earth for a reason. And I'll tell you what, a dog, a cat, and of course other animals too can be very special to us. But you know, I think about of a lady one time I knew, and she, she loved animals, and she would spend money, she would spend time, and she would, I mean, she would go states away just to rescue one animal. Uh, that was kind of special, but this is the same lady that believed in abortion. Now, to me, help my feeble mind, she could rescue all these animals, but believed in killing a part of God's creation, a baby, I found out part of the history of that was because uh, something that happened and this uh, baby being an inconvenience and a problem. Well, what do you think animals are? They can be an inconvenience too uh, and all, but see, it kind of tells us something. We need to look after all of God's creation. And that's why that scripture there, it says, a righteous man cares for the needs of his animal, but the kindest acts of the wicked are cruel. How can that be? How can somebody that can be so kind and do all these great things and rescue animals, but can abort a child or think that's the way to do things? And, and just think, if we're going to abort children, why not go ahead and let's get rid of the elderly. Let's get rid of those with deformities. Let's get rid of those. See, where does it, where does it end? And that's why we got to do a lot of praying right now for our nation, for our world, and our society as a whole. See, there's another scripture there. It's in verse 15 of that same chapter. It says, The way of a fool seems right to him, but a wise man listens to advice. What is the best advice we can have? Is God's Word. And God's Word tells us everybody is special. Whether they're that unborn child, whether they're that elderly, that uh, seem like they have no worth, but they, they're worthy in the eyes of God. So we need to be doing a lot of praying, don't we? And so let's go to the Lord now. Father, we need you. We need you. We're so much in love with animals today. We spend fortunes rescuing them and taking care of them and babying them. But then we take a precious child of yours that you have formed, that already has a, a heartbeat, already has uh, just life in them. And Lord, it's nothing to have them killed because they're inconvenience. Lord, have we become fools. Today, wake us up and realize your creation is special. And Lord, we need to have a heart like yours that loves and cares for all. Lord, bless us and guide us as a nation, as a society. But it really just starts right here in our own hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, something to think about, right? Let's love everybody.